Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis, whose Conservative Party scored a landslide election yesterday but without the seats in Parliament to win outright, has indicated that he will seek a second election in a bid to consolidate victory without need of a coalition partner. Mitsotakis' New Democracy Party was a full 20 percentage point ahead of its main rival, the left-wing Syriza Party, nearly complete results showed. But a new electoral system of proportional representation means his 40% vote share still was not enough to secure a majority of the 300 seats in parliament. To form a government, he would either have to seek a coalition partner from a smaller party or head to a second election. The Prime Minister said he would follow all constitutional procedures but maintained his view that the current electoral system that created the need for coalition was akin to party horse trading. A second election, likely to be held in late June or early July, would be conducted under a new electoral law that gives bonus seats to the winning party, making it easier to form a government on its own. Yesterday's election was Greece's first since its economy ceased being under strict supervision by international lenders who had provided bailout funds during the country's nearly decade-long financial crisis. Syriza head Alexis Tsipras, now 48 years of age, served as Prime Minister during some of the most tumultuous years of the crisis and has struggled to regain the wide support he enjoyed when he was swept to power in 2015 on a promise of reversing bailout imposed austerity measures. Four years ago, winning 41% of the vote would have been enough to secure a majority in Greece's 300-seat parliament. But now it requires more than 45% because the winning party is no longer entitled to a 50-seat bonus in the first round, making a rerun more likely. Mitsotakis will have his eye on the extra seats he would be entitled to if he won the second election. He will need 151 seats in total to secure a second term since he has indicated that he is not willing to form a coalition government.